uh, as a rec uh, into the League of Nations Council and was recognized as a leading power during that time. However, uh, under uh, um, However, with, uh, the, during that time was also the army um, was in Siberia at the time during the Russian Civil War and it, that was really bad press for them and so the army was divided regarding the issue of the Russian Civil War and Hara was in charge at that time. Um, and uh, Russia fell into an economic uh, difficulty because you know fighting a war, letting money out was a was a something that couldn't they couldn't really handle, and so during that time, the Japanese Communist Party formed in 1920. The JCPU stands for the Japanese Communist Party. However, the government was also uh, aware of the ja of the communist threat, and they were they were pretty anti-communist since they they participated in the Russian Civil War. They were aware of what communism was. And so the government actually clamped down on the on the Japanese communists, saying, "You know, we're not going to have communist party here." If you look at this uh, political spectrum, then you'll need to know this. Communism is on the left side. Fascism is on the right side. In the middle, you have basically the moderates. You move to the left: liberalism, liberalism, socialism, communism, anarchism. And on this side is conservatism, monarchism, Nazism, and fascism. And these are very, these are just different political systems at that time. So left wing is. So yeah, left wing would be considered communist, and right wing would be considered fascist. Just something for you to be aware of when you when you discuss when when we bring in these terms such as left wing or right wing. You need to know this. Elephant is conservative. Conservatives. What's fascism like? Fascism? Hitler. Hitler. Hitler and Mussolini would be considered fascists. So, this is the slide which you probably heard the HLs talk about. No. You guys didn't hear about this? No. These are the different prime ministers that ruled through, that were in Japan in the 1920s. Um, let's see how far I can go. First, this is Hara Takashi. He was assassinated. Right. Why? Pardon? Why was he assassinated? He was assassinated because uh, because he disapproved of some things that the military did. And even though he was assassinated, um, the the government could not do anything to the person to the military that was that was in charge behind it. So, first, uh, he, um, yeah, so he took over and he resigned in 1922 after failing to address the economic crisis. After, after that, um, there are three in it. This is weird. Okay, no, no, sorry. Haro was assassinated, and Kodokiyo Takahashi took over, <laughs> right? And then he took over, he, he failed to address the economic problem, and then that led to three ineffective governments in a row. What, and what that means is, you know, every time they had to vote to have a new government, and it was a, parliament, it was a parliamentary system, and so they would have to vote, for, they were allowed to vote for a new government whenever the government's considered a failure. Uh, there were three governments after that, and that moved on to Kato Tomosaburo. Tomosaburo. Kato Tomosaburo, he built, he made uh, considerable progress during the 1920s. He built on, uh, he built on the constitu constitutional principles, and he uh, and he extended the franchise, meaning the right to vote, to 25 years old. So Kato gave people the right to vote, as long as you're over 25. Let's know the name of the history. Uh, the name of them, yes, you do. You do need, you do need to know them. Okay. Now, mind you, you don't need to know them in like only one on the on the HL test. Uh, there's there's one question where it asks you know for, for six different uh, you know not the steps towards uh, militarism in the 1920s. So there was a question about that, but it's optional. 
or you, and there was also a multiple choice question on it. So I don't know, and I'm going to change your test, so I don't know what I'm going to put there. I haven't written your test yet, so just keep that in mind. This question may show up. He also cut. He also cut costs. Kanato Tomosaburo also cut costs, meaning that uh, he cut the military costs. He cut the military funding, meaning he had to fire two thousand people from the military, and of course the military was not happy with it. He also had a peace preservation law of nineteen twenty five, which imprisoned anybody who was a left wing. So anybody who was communist, he was he was allowed to arrest. He made a law to allow allow uh, the government to arrest them and put them away. However, he also, uh, however, he went, he went away from the military mainstream thought at that time. He had a reconcili reconciliatory policy towards China. He basically did not want to antagonize China and made a friendly relationship with China. And, they, they, and he did not take advantage of the internal chaos there. So, but, and of course the military disagreed because the military wanted to go into China and take what they can. He died in 1926. Old age. Natural death. Well, Katsuki took over next, and uh, he supported Shidehura's policy of cooperative relations with China. Shidehura was one of the uh, was the, one of the ministers during that time. He did not, and he wanted to have a uh, uh, good relationship with China. However, he also had fail, failed to address economic problems, and he was forced to resign as well. Next guy, Hamaka Gichi. He ha had a more aggressive policy towards China because of uh, he had some, a lot of pressure from the army. Um, and during that time in 1927, in 1927 Chiang Kai-shek in China was fight, having a northern expedition trying to unite China. And Chiang Kai-shek was being quite successful during that time. And so, and so he, uh, he was uh, worried that the, it may threaten the Japanese interests in Mongolia, because if if Chiang Kai Shek unites China, right? Here's the northern expedition. If you keep fighting north, you're gonna eventually get to Manchuria, and this will threaten Japanese interests. So he did not want China to be united, and so as a result of that, he tried to get um. He tried to. Uh, yeah, so he tried to, you know, just figure something out. The military at that time decided to do something on their own. The military decided to ignore what the prime minister said, and he, the military went there and he killed. And the military bombed one of the warlord's uh, trains while the warlord was in it, and the warlord died. This was done outside without the permission of the government. The government then sent the military. Okay, uh, sent them said we need to address uh, address this issue of the military acting without the permission of the government, and so he tried to get the people who did it arrested. However, those people were not arrested. They were not um, they were not punished at all, and so this is important because the Kwantung Army. Kwantung Army. You guys know what the Kwantung Army is. Oops. Anybody, can anyone tell me what the Kwantung Army is? Is it the Chinese or the Japanese? No. Japanese Army. What does Guangdong mean, literally? Guangdong? Yeah. East of the gate, yeah. So if you, have a, if you have China, here's the Great Wall. Guangdong would be anything east of the gate. So, Guangdong, I guess. That's how you write it, right? Yes. Yeah. Or in Chinese, it would be this. And the east of the gate. And so he tried to get the Guangdong army punished because of that, but they were not punished. The government refused to punish them, and it was significant because this this is the first example of the government of the military doing something except, totally opposite of what the government wants, and they were not punished as a result of that. And so this was significant because it showed that the parliamentary democracy was in decline. And militarism was on the rise. I'm going to finish this quickly. Uh, Osachi, uh, he later uh, comes into power. Osachi is the last guy. Osachi Hamaguchi. He comes into power, and uh, he the, the Great Depression hit at that time. It led to the decline of the silk trade. Led to unemployment, and so he had to cut spending uh, spending on the military again. 
and the military decide to assassinate him. So the military goes up to him, shoots him, bam, he goes into the hospital, uh, and the military person who did it to him was not punished, uh, was put in prison, released after a couple of days, uh, and uh, the person even went back in the army to get work. And meanwhile, the prime minister died six months after from injury, from the injury. And, and really, his death marks Japan's entry into what was called the Dark Valley. <coughs> The Dark Valley of the 1930s, where militarism took over in Japan and democracy failed. Now, the question is, do we have to know every, every one of these names? Probably not. But having, knowing their name, I think knowing their last name is important. Last name? Uh, Which one? Is it the... Last the word. What would be the first word? Yeah. So, so Kato, Kato was going to be Tanaka and Osachi. These would be names you to know. But on the other hand, uh, the significance of this is not because, you know... Uh, they did this, they did that. It's really just to mark how Japan went from democracy, slowly, step by step, failed, and militarism, slowly, step by step, took, went on a rise. Okay?